Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Weather Extreme Video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, September 11th. I'm James Spann. Got a few widely scattered storms across the state today. Those fade away tonight. Uh, chance of rain fairly small for the next few days, but a tropical system could bring some beneficial rain late this weekend, early next week. Let's talk about it. There's the upper look, big ridge across the southeastern states, trough in the northwest. There's the visible satellite view, and again, you can see a few pockets of convection across the northern half of the state today. There's the radar at 235. In fact, at that point, we had a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Tuscaloosa County for a big storm there. These things are not moving much, and again, they fade quickly once the sun goes down. Mostly mid-90s on the board. Birmingham and Tuscaloosa, 94. Kalman, 95. We'll stay in the mid-90s tomorrow and Friday. There's the watch warning map. Got a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of the Great Lakes. Flash flood watches for parts of the high plains. Chance of severe storms well north of here. From the plains of Wyoming over to the Great Lakes and the Jersey Shore. This is tomorrow. Got a risk of severe storms from near Childress, Texas, up to about Madison, Wisconsin. And on day three, which is Friday, a marginal risk again well to the north of here. We'll stay mostly dry tomorrow and Friday here in our state. Any showers, they're possible, but they should be few and far between. Rain for the next seven days. The big numbers up around the Great Lakes. And again, the numbers in the southeast and the Gulf Coast, this will evolve as the tropical system evolves. Uh, but again, don't be shocked that those numbers come up for the northern half of the state uh, at some point in future forecast. So in the tropics, uh, three tropical waves, the two low-latitude waves in the Atlantic between Africa and the Lesser Antilles, only a low chance of developing. This is the five-day outlook. For that uh, wave that's near the southeastern Bahamas, NHC now giving that a 60% chance of development. And it's just an open tropical wave at this point, but it could become a tropical depression around the Florida Straits uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours. Look at modeling. And again, let me just say this. Uh, I don't really you know, tweet this or put it too much on Facebook, but people that watch these videos understand. Until you get a low-level center, developed if one develops this won't be of much help but you get the idea that the spread kind of brings it up in our direction uh, this is the uh, gfs ensemble output and again we stay on the wet side of this even if this is right and the european ensemble again, members are all over the place but the idea is that this thing comes up through the eastern and northern gulf and then moves up into the southern states with certainly potential for some beneficial rain now the question is will this become a dangerous storm uh, some of the guidance, most of the guidance, suggests this becomes Tropical Storm Umberto uh, within the next couple of days. And uh, obviously, uh, if it stays a kind of a weak, disorganized tropical storm, it could have more benefits than negatives with the beneficial rain. But any system in mid-September, you got to watch in the Gulf for any sign of rapid intensification. But for now, we don't see any sign of that. Looks like this could be a tropical storm when it comes in uh, Sunday night or Monday. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. A strong shortwave over the northern plain states. Still got ridging here. And again, uh, it's going to be hot and dry. Uh, the temperatures aloft tomorrow should be a little warmer. So while there could be a shower somewhere, probably not many. And the same thing on Friday. Hot, mostly dry, mid-90s. This is Saturday. And again, the wave is in the Gulf. I think a decent part of the day Saturday could be dry, but we will mention some risk of uh, scattered showers and storms Saturday afternoon. Sunday, the Gulf low, 1,012 millibar low, could be a tropical storm, uh, kind of moves up toward the Florida panhandle. And again, uh, we just can't forecast specific impact this far out. We don't know, but we'll certainly trend the forecast toward more clouds and more rain statewide Sunday with highs uh, in the low 80s. And then a deep tropical moisture will, uh, pool will likely sit in here next week. This is Monday, Tuesday, both days mostly cloudy with a few showers and thunderstorms likely both days. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 18th, upper ridge over eastern Canada, trough in the west, and again a deep pool of tropical moisture. So hopefully Sunday through Wednesday of next week and maybe beyond we'll see some 
beneficial rain from that tropical feature in the Gulf. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 21st. Deep trough digging down across the Great Plains states. A cold front lined up there from Chicago down to San Antonio. And what could be a little tropical feature around the Bahamas. It's that time of the year. Rain for Birmingham for the next 15 days. The ensemble mean one to one and a half inches. Again, this will probably change once we get better clarity on the tropical system. And hopefully after Friday, we'll be done with the 90s for a while, maybe for a long while. Next week, highs should be in the 80s with lows in the low 70s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by... That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.